Good evening and welcome to Tolka Park for this SSE Electricity League Good Friday special between Shelburne, the league leaders, and Dundalk. Yes, at the start of play, nine places and 14 points separate these teams. As well, on this near side now is Zach Johnson. Midway inside our own half. Comes there now to Scott High. Nice little ball play in towards the edge of the area. Plenty of red shirts back. Taking it up now is Archie Davies. Steps inside the attempted challenge there of uh, Will Jarvis. Well, still going. So, a shot coming in there from Archie Davis. And a keeper eventually, Connor Cairns, dives on the ball. There's a brief moment of danger there from Michelle. We'll go back to Tony. Well, in, in all fairness, Shelvin, it looks like Shell's having stars. Changing the direction of the play once again out on this near side to Tyreek Wilson's good patient play by Shelburne as they look to try and punch a hole in the Dundalk rear guard. It's a good one by Matty Smith. Breaks it down but uh, attack comes, well, comes back on the Shelburne side with Paddy Barrett. Coyle once again the full come in that midfield for the home team. It looks like well, Shells have woken up after that chance that Dundalk oh, has. Good ball down that far side now to Liam Bird. Cross comes in. Goalkeeper is there. Well taken by Ross Munro in the Dundalk goal. It's another good chance, but uh, Liam should have been doing a lot better there. Deck, uh. Coyle takes the throw from Wilson and uh, comes back to Gavin Malloy. Too slow, everything is too slow. Good pressing by Dundalk. Uh, it is, but the pressing where she has to play it a little bit quicker, they can catch them out. Now, here's a man who can certainly try and catch them out. It's Gannon down the right-hand side again. Takes one touch, comes in field. Sean Gannon crosses over the halfway line. He's, he's going to pass out to where he would normally be himself. He goes down, play continues. Good attack this by Shelburne. Is there an end product? It's played through there now to hey, Sean Boyd. Yeah. Boyd's in the penalty area. He goes oh, down. No. Matty Smith was in there as well for Shelburne. The decision it's a, is it corner, is no, it? Goal, still, still in play. Still in play. Now it's gone out of play for his throw. But a real moment of danger there for the Dundalk. Oh, that was meant on the far side for Boyd, but Dundalk have won it back. Taking possession now there is uh, Elliott. Oh, goes down under a challenge from Paddy Barrett, referee. A little bit of afters there between the two boys, and there's more players getting involved in this now. Oh, it's Dundalk. A little bit of sorting out for the referee to do here. Oh, uh, that's... The yellow card is out of the pocket. Referee is telling Louis Anzi to keep out of it. The Dundalk player. Yellow card, yellow card, yellow card. There's three yellows. Yeah. I'm sure that's a point that Damien Duff would have made to Shelburne yeah. at half time. Push on, push at them, push at them, lads. See what you can do. Coyle, once again, breaking that attack up for Shelburne. Infield there now towards Liam Burt, having more of an influence as well in the second half. Burt still going forward, still Burt shoots! Oh, it's a majestic strike from Liam Burt to break the deadlock! Oh, that is absolute class, reminds me of Tony Sheridan in his prime. But again, Dick, as I said, you know, all, all made by Burt. Great finish. I'll be a bit uh, suspect on the keeper. Did it take a deflection? Like it's straight at the keeper. I might be wrong. It, do, it does look like it's a deflected or sorry, straight at the keeper. I see it again. Coyle driving forward. Steady play the ball through. Brilliant run. Great strength. Onto his right side, left fly, might have taken Nick off the Dundalk defender perhaps on the way through. Yeah. But I'll tell you something, Shadow, if a commentator 25 years ago tried to take that off you, you wouldn't be too happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> I'll have to see it back myself, but I, 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 it may have taken a Nick off the Dundalk I don't defender. Think, I don't think it took enough. No. I don't know that Nick. And here comes Shelburne again, hungry for another goal, man, that's down. Good yeah, challenge good. that made there by uh, Ainsley to prevent the goal scoring opportunity but the ball is still in the danger area this is Liam Burton the goal scorer down the attacking left hand side Burton is there squares oh. it oh it's gone in 2-0 Shelburne Shows you when you're down at when you're down at the bottom, things like that can happen. And when you're at the top, you can get those.
Bazinga. The defender done brilliant. Yeah. But again, look at Jarvis. He's so clever. Gives the ball. And then he plays the touch. Jarvis turns. Yeah, he got away from uh, Ainsley. Ball came across after Dundalk man into the route. Down the far side with Archie Davis. Davis squares it there now to Zach Bradshaw. Bradshaw brings Scott High into the play. Horgan out on this near side to John Mountney. Sweeping ball into the penalty area. Oh, oh it's gone Vince. in. It's a goal for Dundalk. Benson. Benson. No, I don't. No, it is a goal. It's a goal. Yeah. It's a goal. Yeah. <laughs> Top for a second. It wasn't going to be allowed. Well, there's Shelburne's clean sheet up the, the spout, as they say. Benson with the goal. Has it come too late? 2 Has 1. It? Yeah. They signal four minutes of additional time. Great ball in. Absolutely magic ball. You're looking for your strike that they'll get in on your midfielder. Yeah. Great header. Pace and strength on it as well. Yeah. Good finish indeed. In. Shell's not done yet. They might just go for the corner in this one. Yeah, they're giving themselves a throw. Drew against Waterford, beat Shamrock Rovers, beat Sligo Rovers, Galway, United Bohemians and St. Patrick's Athletic. That's the run so far this season. Five out of six before tonight. Shortly, you will think to be six out of seven. We're chasing it down the far side there is Dean Williams. He will just hold it up in the corner. He's gone down and will himself a free kick, does he? Yeah. Well, there will be time for the free kick because the referee, Damien McGrath, has said enough is enough at Tulker Park. Shelburne have made it six wins out of seven in the SSE at Tristan League Premier Division. Liam Bird with a stunning strike in the second half and an own goal from Dundalk to maintain that record. So Dundalk still look for their first win of the season and still look for another goal this season, Tony. What was your assessment? A better second half than first overall. I think Shelburne's game is pressure. You know, putting pressure on teams, getting them to make mistakes. First half, I thought the set off didn't really put pressure on them. But in the second half, they came out flying and obviously got the, the two goals. Could have probably got one or, one or two more in the first half with Sam Boyd. But a great result for Sam. Um, the Dock, they're a good team, but they just be a little bit worried. And you're going to get goals. That's, that's the problem with me with the Dock. 